y'all and welcome to my channel so I don't know if you remember or not but in the last my last video I said that I was going to make another box for the people that are entering my giveaway and that's what I'm going to do in this video now this took me quite a while to make so uh, let's see, I think it took about, not, not counting cure time, I think it took me about four hours. So I took four hours and condensed it into 30 minutes. Because a lot of it's boring. I mean, it's, it's repetitive and when you watch it, you'll, you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. So this box is going to look like that box but a different color um the yeah that's my tool chest that I use for making my keychains and um that glitter um I I don't know it's it's in a big container because it's the glitter I used for my Mexican train domino video <clears throat> which it was a, a customer request. So I, I have tons of that glitter left over, which I'm probably going to make a table out of. So be looking for that. Not in the next video, but further on down the line. Um, anyway, so that's where I keep my, my tools, but my little drill that you see on the right-hand side you can sand with it and shape with it and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it won't close. <laughs> so, um, I don't have a bigger box mold. So, I don't know if I'm just going to have to find another, like a plastic box or whatever. But, I'm going to use Bubblegum Glow by Arteza. And, it's got a, a pinkish, purplish kind of um hue or a tint to it so i'm going to use that with the um glitter glitter makes it twilight twilight sparkle excuse me y'all usually when i do my videos i've got my phone either in another room or on silent anyway um so, I'm going to be using um, the Glitter Makes It. Now, I don't, this is a brand new bag, so I haven't had a chance to put it um, in my bottles yet. So, I'm going to take it and um, pour it in a small cup. It's just easier it's easier for me to handle because sometimes when you pour it out of the bag, um, I, I don't know for me, sometimes it clumps up and it's just, it's hard to pour out of the bag. So, and I don't, with a big project like this, I don't like to use a spoon to, um, spoon it out. So I've got eight ounces of resin here. Now, this is not nearly going to be enough resin. And for those of you that are experienced with this type of a big project, yeah, you can automatically look at those molds and say, you only mixed up eight ounces of resin. Yeah, I mixed up eight ounces so far because I want to see how far it's going to go before I make more because I don't want to make like way too much yeah and there's a hole in my glove y'all I I've got a ring that's got a pointy ed pointy edges on it and it it tears my glove every time you would think that I would learn and take my rings off but no I'm so excited to start my project now that mica powder was clumpy I don't know why um 
I live where it's humid, so it's probably because of that. I know, but dang humidity. Anyway, um, so I'm just, <laughs> as you can see, I just went, eh, to heck with it. Let's just pour it all in there. So that's what I did. And I want to remind y'all, I had a subscriber ask me um, regarding the giveaway. I had a subscriber ask me, well, if, if I comment with, I'm a subscriber 500, does that mean that I have to watch all of your videos until the giveaway is over and reply with that same thing and... No, you don't. Once you reply one time with I'm a subscriber 500, you don't need to reply with that again. I mean, comment. Reply, comment. You can still comment like, hey, that's pretty or nice job or whatever. But no, you don't. Once, once you've done it once, you don't need to do it again. And the rules for entering the giveaway are you have to be a subscriber. And in the comments, you have to comment only once. Um, put in the comments, I'm a subscriber, 500. And, y'all, I have this video, you know, like I said before, this video, I sped it up for time's sake. Because I would have had to have done this video, like, in, I don't know, three parts. Okay, so that's as far as eight ounces gets. So I mixed up another eight ounces. So, so far... It's 16 ounces. Now, see that mica powder is not dissolving the way that it should. I wish, you know, don't y'all wish you could mix that fast? <laughs> that would be awesome. And I'm using Alumalite's uh, Amazing Clearcast resin. Because I would have used my casting resin, but that resin has, if you've watched my past videos, that resin does not set up very well. I don't know if it's just the batch that they made that day or whatever, but I was not going to take a chance. On a big project like this, I was not going to take a chance of all of these pieces being bendy and then not curing. I mean, even if y'all watched my video with me making the, the guitar pick case, it's still bendy. And how long ago was that? I mean, seriously? And if I mix up too much glitter or too much mica powder and it turns darker or lighter, it's, it's really not going to make a difference to me. Because as you see, when I pour that, it's darker. And then I don't know why. Yeah, I do, because all the glitter is starting to sink to the bottom. So that's why it's changing color. Okay, so that's still eight ounces. Now, when I demolded these and tried to put it together, um, 
I didn't fill the mold up all the way. And for those of you that are new to resin, if you don't fill up your mold all the way, it leaves this dip and your corners become real pointed. So when you'll see here in a little bit, when I try and put it together, it won't go together because of those points, um, points, the edges are pointed. So I had to sand, you know, get out my little sander, sand them down, and then they fit in there. I wish I could pour this quick also. <laughs> now that's six ounces in that cup. So, so far... That mold is going to hold... Um, I believe, I think I had a, maybe an ounce left. So, the, the whole entire project took 23 ounces. I don't know how many milliliters that is. I live in America. I go by <laughs> American measurements, not British or any other overseas country and there's a lot of times I've been sitting here and I've, I've said you know, Alexa how many milliliters is so many ounces and so, thank goodness for either the internet or Alexa, because, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't know. So, yeah, I took, um, I took, this project will take, 24 ounces because I did not fill these molds up all the way. I thought I did, but I didn't. So it would probably take all of 24 ounces. So I'm, I'm correcting myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going around and thinking that I'm filling everything up and not trying to have any kind of overflow, but instead I had underflow, if that's a word. So I've got my trusty little rose rose heart mold so with these type of molds you have to give them a squish and then you know bang them you know, just pick it up and drop it so you can force all those air bubbles to the top. Now, I don't really mind if there's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of air bubbles, a little bit of air bubbles because that's the back. So I'm not really too worried or concerned about it. So I'm going back with my stick. And um, poking those bubbles. I don't like bubbles, but if I can get to them in time, I will go through and um, see if I can pop them. 
Now, if you'll notice, I took my torch and I just, like, for a split second, put that heat from the torch uh, on that little heart and just blasted it just for a split second. Um, everything cured really, really nicely. That's going to be the outside. See what I was saying about the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The glitter sinking and changing color. Okay. I get scam calls all the time, y'all. I am so sorry. <sighs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, this is kind of cool because I can bang on it and make it fit, right? That one side worked. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my UV resin. <clears throat> and I'm going to glue the inside of the side to the bottom. That's going to, that's the bottom piece. And that's one side. So I'm just curing it with my little UV light. I do have one of those nail lights or lamps, which I could have used. See, and that one, that one worked really well. Just popped right in there, which was good. Thank goodness for UV resin. It's like, no, I was going to go up the corner, but it didn't really need it. That is what I had a problem with. And I thought, all right, there's more than one way to skin a cat here. So uh, I took out my little drill bit that I always use for my keychains. And I put my little sanding wheel on there. And I just sanded down the little corners. Because I thought, I'm going to make this fit. This is too important to me for me to just pour it again. <clears throat> wow, y'all. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but I've got stuff, crud, cruddy stuff in my throat. Sinuses. It's, it's a little bit cooler here. In my part of Texas than normal. Which is actually kind of scary. Because usually it's like 99 degrees and 150% humidity. Not, I'm exaggerating, but y'all know what I mean. And then that part I had trouble putting it together. And I had to round off the edges. So if there's a lesson in this, try to fill up your molds all the way. I thought I did, but as my grandma always used to say, well, that's what you get for thinking. You need to know. Okay. Okay. Got it to fit. So I'm just going along with the UV resin and 
gluing it together. And there's the top. Ta-da! Now that's not all, y'all. So I found these little flowers and leaves that I made. Um, I don't, and please forgive me, whoever sent me the little molds with the little flowers and the leaves. I think it was Miss Johnny. Anyway, um, I've got some molds that make these little flowers. And I thought, what a cool idea to glue them on the lid of this box. So I've, if, if you'll remember me telling y'all from previous videos that I have got tons of acrylic paint. And so I just went in my stash and I found some green, what's it, what's it called? Peacock Pearl Metallic Green or Metallic, yeah, anyway, <laughs> from Deco Art. And I thought, well, I will paint these leaves a little bit. And then I took um, uh, the, what is it, Artist's Loft Violet Dioxazine Acrylic Paint. And I just want to, wanted to put a little color on these flowers and leaves. So I've taken my little acrylic brush. I have since then ordered the, the detail brushes, just a regular paint brush. Because I think I could have done a better job with painting those flowers if I had a regular brush instead of a um, silicone brush. So I'm going along and just giving those flowers a little bit of color. And I chose the color purple because that's my favorite color. And y'all are, my subscribers are really special to me. So I put two and two together. I love purple and I love my subscribers. So that's why I did the box in purple. Now, y'all see why I sped up this video because, yeah, it, it took me, I, I didn't really time it or watch and see how long it was taking me, but it took many hours. Because if not, I would have had to have, yeah, I think I said this before, but I would have had to have had this video, like, in three parts. And I just, I didn't want to do that. It's, because you can see already that it it's monotonous watching somebody paint something like this. Okay, now, what I did on my Cricut was I went on Cricut Design Space and looked for the word hope. 
because I'm calling this a hope chest or maybe a hope box because y'all are hoping that you're going to win, right? So I thought that I would try the shadow method and you'll find out here in a little bit that I did it wrong. I don't know how I thought you could just do it one way, but obviously, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just assuming I did it wrong. So I just, you saw me weed out everything that I didn't want. And, um, I'm, I took packing tape. And that's the burnisher. So you want to take that and make sure that you push down really, really well, make everything stick. And I don't know why Cricut, it, it doesn't work for me, their, their transfer tapes. Okay. Now the transfer tapes will work on like the thinner type of vinyl but with just the regular vinyl it doesn't work uh, anyway yeah I've so I just I use the uh, packing tape for all of it because that gray that you saw me put on there the gray hope that's regular vinyl this vinyl is uh, what do you call it? Um, I guess a color shift. So I'm weeding out everything that I don't want. Now, supposedly, you're supposed to take that and put it on top of the the one that I have on the box already, and it looks like a shadow. But it just, it didn't work right. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't really use my Cricut a lot. But, yeah, it's, and I was trying to line it up. And I thought I had gotten it. And the other one, the other letters didn't turn out right. And. I just gave up. I, by this time of day that I was doing this, I was tired because I wanted to get this project done. And I thought, you know what? I'll just put the holographic. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> holographic. Um, the holographic word on it. And we'll just see how it looks. So I'm taking my burnisher and ta-da, it looks blue right there, which is one of the colors that's on the film, but if you turn it another way, it's pink, pink and purple. So I thought I could take my, this is the first time me using what is it, Gorilla Super Glue? And it did okay with the first two flowers. And then it wouldn't come out. So I thought, okay, well, let me cut the tip. So I cut the tip. It still won't come out. And I'm like, I don't need this. I'm so tired. So I got Liquid Fusion and did it that way. Now, the Liquid Fusion... When you're gluing, uh, when you're gluing res a resin project to another resin project, it takes quite a while for it to dry. So, but all I did was glue everything on, and I knew I was going to have to wait for all those little bitty pieces to dry. So, in my next video, I'm going to go through the people that entered, my subscribers that entered, and put them in the hope box. And here's what it looks like. 
So y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.